Hey everybody, this is Zach Rosen from The New Gay. I'm out in my balcony here in Washington, D.C. with a queer you should know. That's Juan Velasquez from Abe Vigoda. <laughs> so... Hey Juan, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good. good. How are you enjoying D.C. so far today? Yeah, it's nice. Okay. I had a really, really relaxing morning, so... Good. Cupcakes and stuff. In Bethesda, I understand? In Bethesda, yeah. One of, the, one of the guys in other bands' mom lives there, so... We uh, stayed there last night. Yeah, I like the uh, indie rock frat house at a parent's house vibe. You yeah, oh, it's in. great. Yeah, yeah, it's a bunch of us in the basement, and I luckily got a room, and <laughs> some of those nice dogs there. It's nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a cool place. <laughs> and uh, I'll just go into my next question, which is, you don't really look like a goth to me. Okay. But having her <laughs> crush, I was expecting maybe a little more eyeliner, a little more <laughs> Robert Smith hair. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's some goths that look like me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how goth I am, but I uh, definitely, like, really like, I don't know, like, 80s new wave and like post punk and stuff, which is all kind of goth. Yeah. So yeah, but yeah, and I'm not. Yeah, I worked at Hot Topic for a while, which was like, <laughs> like at the very end of high school. So it probably makes you emphatically not a goth. Yeah, it's like think? a ball goth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, you won't. You won't really see much, too much eyeliner on. <laughs> okay. And how'd you get from I guess people always call you tropical punk? Yeah. To this more kind of overtly synth uh, sound and crush. Um, well, like we wrote like those tropical punk songs like. Like in the like most of 2007, and 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 uh, it was recorded at the end of that year, and mm -hmm. it came out 2008. So when we started writing this stuff, like years had already gone by, and we have like a new, a new member in the band. Like our drummer quit, and then we got um, I asked this guy Dane from Phoenix, who's like we've we met him on tours and stuff. The uh, city or the band? Oh yeah, from the no Phoenix. the city. Okay, the city. <laughs> that'd be awesome. Just making sure that'd be great. No, from Phoenix, Arizona, and uh, he moved to LA and and and. Uh, you know, join the band. Whoa, sounds oh, so crazy. Yeah. Uh, we'll wait. give that one second. Yeah, yeah. It's this fine. is the siren capital of DC, I it's think. It's crazy. But it's like all short. It's like so Yeah. Nuts. To extra annoy us. That's fine. Get on. So yeah, so Dane joined the band and he like had some electronic equipment already and kind of like, we'd already, we've always like kind of thought that'd be fun to try. And uh, so slowly kind of when we were writing stuff, started incorporating these other things. Mm -hmm. And by then, I mean like, I think years have gone by, we like toured all over and met all these people and I think in like a cheesy way like we kind of like grew up and stuff and like had all these other reference points and um, so that's kind of how it like organically turned into writing mm -hmm. songs that are like this. And I think we just got more interested in like writing pop, like more pop music or like t trying to, yeah, just write songs in a different way maybe and that's kind of how like that ended up happening. Okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it's pretty slow progression but it was kind of a little nerve-wracking at first. We're like, it's too weird, it's too different, but we really like it, and it's like, you know, it wasn't like, it wasn't like a strain to do it. It kind of just came about. Right. So that was like, so we're like, all right, well. So you didn't I, wake up and say, a lot of bands are doing synth these days. Yeah, I know, exactly. And it kind of just came out at a funny point where like that was like what was going on. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. And, and then, you know, the recording process too, you know, like, kind of made the songs, they turned the songs, uh, kind of like made them different and kind of, we play them now more like, like how we recorded them as opposed to when we were writing them. Um, so, I don't know. Okay. So that's, you know, part <laughs> of the evolution, I guess. You're, uh, you're, you're the gay guy in Abe Vigoda. True. I always wonder, like, you know, a lot of people, like Elton John is the gay front man, and then you have someone like you that's not front and center, but you're still... Yeah, I'll pull you know, to the side. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the gay boy in the van. Do you, do you guys get, like, how does that play out? Do you get a lot of gay fan base, or...? Um, it's weird. At first, not so much. Like, I, a lot of people would be like, they knew they knew someone was gay, and a lot of people assume it's Michael, because, like, Michael, you know, kind of give that, give that vibe off. David Bowie, Robert Smith. Yeah, yeah. exactly, right? And he's, yeah, and he's, like, you know, in the front, and he's, like... But no, you know, by no means like the most masculine dude on the planet. <laughs> so I think people would think it was him, and then they realize it's me, and they're like, okay, like that's oh, like like I don't know, I don't I don't know, like I feel like not all the time. Like I feel like I feel like if there are kids in the audience that are gay, I I don't know about it. They don't come up to me. Right. Um, and more recently, like people have been kind of coming out of the woodwork and being like, oh, like it's so cool. Like it's like you know, because I get excited when I when I find out someone in a band that I like is gay, just because or like. It's just fun, I don't know, it, it might not mean much or something, but it's just like kind of cool that there's like that level of understanding already in a way. It's kind I of like, it's well. exciting, it's exciting to to have, you know, to, to have like, you know, queer people on stage. Like, you know, <laughs> and, and, and not necessarily in like the context of like a queer band where that's like the emphasis, 
of the band is like, they're, like right. it's like that's like a there's like a political thing about it. Um, so yeah, but you know sometimes I'll get like kids come up and 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 and, and, and talk to me and stuff, and um, it's always kind of it's always like really fun. Um, Europe, like sometimes like people catch on and then and, and they'll take us out or something. Like <laughs> we've gone to gay bars like and stuff like in Europe because you know I'll talk to somebody and they're like, oh let's go out to a gay bar and I'm like yeah and. And they assume everyone else in the band is, so we all go. And, <laughs> but, you know, they're, they're all pretty good sports about it. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to tell everybody? Um, I don't know. Man, that's... Uh, I don't know. You I, must tell everyone something. No, I just don't know. kidding. Yeah, I know, right? Like, what do I want? I don't know. Just uh, feel free to come and say hi if you ever see us play. Because it's always fun to meet new people and make new friends in cities. And I feel like... Sometimes, like I'll get like a like a like a like a Facebook message or something, or like someone will write something like, "Oh, I should have talked to you," or like, "I want to talk to you," and you should because I'm nice and I like taking a break from talking to the same three other guys in the band. <laughs> so it's always fun to make new friends. So feel free to say hi. <laughs> awesome! Thanks so much, Juan. Yeah, you're welcome.